Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain in details about the basics of high paint animation which means I will explain in details about how to create your animation in a high paint and before that if you are new to my channel please check out all the videos in my channel and if you like it subscribe to my channel and yeah if you are new just check out the playlist uh, you'll understand i have created a separate playlist for different app using that you can learn all the app details so here using the plus symbol we're going to create the canvas so when it comes to high paint animation there is no specific canvas for creating animation there is no uh, separate thing like that so usual way we're going to create a canvas so here i'm using three to four canvas and for creating the animation so here it, the animation going to be a simple ball that's going to jump and for that i'm going to use the felt tip pen hard brush so in the first layer this layer is only for our reference purpose in this layer i'm going to draw the path of our ball that's going to uh, move frame by frame so this is the path in which our ball going to jump and fall all this thing so in this direction and this is only for our reference purpose at the end of creating all the animation details i will just delete this layer so just reduce the opacity and click on the plus on the rightmost corner this is the first frame so here each frame act as each uh, each layer act as each frame so in the first frame i just added a circle now if you are adding separate different details on each layer each frame then you have to draw or if you are just going to make changes from that previous frame then beyond that layer and for creating new details just click on this plus and if you don't want you can delete and if you want to make changes of this frame or the layer just swipe left and just duplicate now using the transform tool i am going to move it place it here also using the distort transform i am going to make it a little bit from circle to oval now you can see there is mild change in the shape now you can also click on this create animation and do the process the either way because uh, when you just do as a layer you will not know how it moves practically but when you click on this create frame then you will understand how it looks now you can see this tracing layer is not much visible so click on that layer and click background then this uh, uh, you know, direction flow everything will be visible in all the layers now beyond that layer and here when you click on that frame you can see a duplicate option so here you can find on the first frame you can find background option but for another frames the background option will not be visible so only it will be visible for the first frame so now i'm going to move this ball change its angle a little bit and make it thinner like this then click on this layer duplicate so here till the end we're going to do the same process just duplicate that layer or you can call it frame when it comes to animation then move it using the transform tool and just uh, change the shape using eraser or using the distort transform or you can you know using liquify tool you can try all these things to change the basic shape that you have in the previous shape, uh, frame now same process again so here i'm going to keep the concept like when it is at the top it's going to be like a circle shape and when it hit the surface it's going to be like an oval shrink shrinked shape so that's why i just change the shape from frame to frame now when it is 
jumping and moving to the top it's going to be back in shape like from ellipse to circle again so just i'm expanding the shape making it thicker again for the next few frames i'm going to make it thicker and at the end at the top of this arch it's going to be a normal circle again so the concept of this shrinking expanding will vary from uh, one animation to another like based on the concept but for this to add some extra detail i want you to understand little more about this animation basics so i'm uh, telling you know including all the things that we can try uh when we are doing this animation so that's why i'm adding these details and there are many more things that we have to learn for this uh when it comes to animation so i will let you know now Okay, again, almost it's going to hit the surface again. So I'm just making it ellipse. Then on the next frame, I'm going to expand like this. Okay, almost we have completed drawing the elements. So next, we're going to see other parameters that are available inside these, uh, you know, animation parameters. Okay, done. Now it looks cool. You can see. If you want to play this animation, click on this play button. Now you can see how it looks. And if you want to speed it up or slow it down for the entire animation, you can do with these settings available here. Uh, and if you want to delete any frame here, when you click on this layer, you can find delete option and if you don't want you can just undo that the frame will come back to the panel once again and here's something called the whole duration which means so here if you want to change the speed for the entire animation you can do on that setting animation setting i will tell about that later but if you want to reduce the speed for a particular frame then click on this in a frame that you want to change then here just increase the hold duration so for the first few frames it was one when it's almost going to hit the surface i just chain the hold duration to two three and when it on when it on the surface i kept at five hold duration which means the speed the frame going to be uh, on that animation a little more longer than the other frames though so that's the thing about the hold duration it's going to hold on in that position for the few more seconds so in this uh, using this option you can uh, you know uh, make some frame um, be on that uh, video a little more longer than the other so that's about the whole duration and here so again for the second hit again i'm going to keep this frame with the whole duration five <clears throat> As it move to the top, it's going to be four, three, like that. Okay, now you will understand when you play. You can see it became slow, then fast, then slow, then little more. You can see how it slow down. So this way, using this whole duration, you can change the speed of your animation details. And here, there is a third option. So here the first option is to play and stop and you can see only one frame is visible at a time but when I stop playing you can see there are two more rings which means the previous frame and next frame. If you want to change the settings of that you can click on this third option in the panel which is onion skin setting. When you click on this and increase the number of uh, previous frame settings on the onion skin you can see 
all the previous frame before the current frame will be visible and when you increase the number of uh, quantity of after frames again it's going to show the uh, like four frames it's going to show four frames after that current frame so that's about this onion frame but while uh, saving the animation will be usual this onion skin will not be visible but you can ch actually change the color of these previous and next frames using the color option in that why it is useful is when you are making animation details frame by frame you will understand uh, where is my previous frame and what is the shape of it what are the details we have done using this onion shape here you can see the blue color ring is previous frame and the green color ring is uh, next frame so this onion skill will be quite useful next comes this animation setting which is a loop ping pong and one shot when it is in loop it's going to repeat playing unless until you stop playing that using the play symbol play bit button you can see it's keep on running running until i stop playing when i click on this ping pong option it's going to reverse before it didn't reverse now it's reversing so that's about the ping pong mode if you want to create an animation with this movement back and forth then you can make use of this option next one is one shot one shot means once it completed one animation uh, cycle it's going to show, uh, stop so that's about this one shot and frames per second for one second how many frames it should be visible if you increase the number of frames per one second it's going to run faster now i kept it very low so it's showing very slow movement when i increase the frames per second to more you can see it's running really fast so here you can see so i kept it loop mode and with frames more frames per second which means you can see with maximum frames per, per, uh, per second it's going to run really fast so i recommend you to check this and use according to your animation purpose and here you can see next one is ghost so in, when it comes to onion when the play button is off you can see the previous and next frame which will be helpful for you to while drawing that animation frames but when it comes to ghost you can see while playing also it shows the previous uh, frames so that's about the uh, ghost so when you increase the number of frames quantity uh, of that ghost all the frames which are before uh, previous to our current frames will be visible you can also change the color of it again this is only for our reference purpose you can understand the path of the previous frame that you have drawn but when it comes to outcome final art, uh, animation video these things will not be visible except the frame that you have drawn on that particular frame layer or uh, you know which i showed before so yeah this is what visible and there are few more things that you have to learn about this background so now i'm going to delete that frame uh, where we have that trace this one click on this and i'm going to delete this layer now if you want to add any permanent background to your artwork which means that frame should be visible on for the entire animation so for that just create a layer before all the layer. first layer going to be the background draw the details now you can see only uh, when that frame comes it is visible so if you want that to be permanent visible in all the frames then click on this background option which is available only for the first layer now you can see this uh, green color details is uh, available for the entire animation now if you want to add something on the front any glow detail that should be visible all over but it should be um, uh, available you know at the top of all the frames so in that case you can create a new layer at the uh, end of that uh, frames then you can see this is the background and you can see at the end you can see that cloud layer so click on that layer click here you can find the foreground when you click on that 
now you can see the cloud is visible on all the layers moreover it will be uh, at the top if there is any frame which is behind that cloud detail uh, it will be uh, hidden by that cloud so that's a good thing now if you want to add multiple details multiple layers inside the background then create a folder like this and add that background layer and you can also add few more layers inside this group and make it work like a single background so now we have already the grass detail in one layer and for our better understanding i'm going to draw a house which is on a separate layer but everything inside a single frame now a roof and yeah we have two layers here and if you want in one more layer you can add so like you can add many layers in the background so now here i'm going to add a mild blue color background gradient so this is on a separate layer okay we have three layers inside this one folder a folder act like a single frame okay a layer act like a single frame again when it is compressed inside a folder that folder acts as a single frame now i switched on the background for this folder now you can see this folder acts as the background and as a single frame and on the front the cloud act as a front foreground uh, uh, detail now you can see we have saw all the details related to the animation now if you are exporting any image you will use this jpg or png but no here you cannot use those detail uh, uh, you know option here click on this share option you can find export gif gif and export mp4 when you click on this gif uh, you can simply save it in just one second you can see this is gif there is no seconds uh, you know uh, video duration here that's about this gif uh, it will be playing repeatedly with when unless we just uh, move to the next image now when you click on this export mp4 you have to actually watch uh, add or you should have the uh, paid version or you have to pay especially for that so i prefer watching ad because i'm not going to uh, make animation more often mm -hmm. so i watch ad and then once again if you click on this export mp4 it will save to the gallery so you can see now if you go to the gallery this is my gif and this is the mp4 here you can see for mp4 the duration of that video is be uh, you know uh, must be visible and for gif there is no any duration it will be keep on playing you might have seen in whatsapp gif or you know instagram so that's about this uh, high paint animation i told you everything in detail if you like this subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye